Sirach, Ecclesiasticus 19. A laboring man that is given to drunkenness shall not be rich, and he that contemns small things shall fall by little and little. Wine and women will make men of understanding to fall away, and he that cleaves to harlots will become impudent. Moths and worms shall have him to heritage, and a bold man shall be taken away. He that is hasty to give credit is light-minded, and he that sins shall offend against his own soul. Whoso takes pleasure in wickedness shall be condemned, but he that resists pleasures crowns his life. He that can rule his tongue shall live without strife, and he that hates babbling shall have less evil. Rehearse not unto another that which is told unto you, and you shall fare never the worse. Whether it be friend or foe, talk not of other men's lives, and if you can, without offense, reveal them not. For he heard and observed you, and when time comes, he will hate you. If you have heard a word, let it die with you, and be bold. It will not burst you. A fool travels, rather, travails with a word, as a woman in labor of a child. As an arrow that sticks in a man's thigh, so is a word within a fool's belly. Admonish a friend. It may be he has not done it, and if he have done it, that he do it no more. Admonish your friend. It may be he has not said it, and if he have, that he speak it not again. Admonish a friend. For many times it is a slander, and believe not every tale. There is one that slips in his speech, but not from his heart. And who is he that has not offended with his tongue? Admonish your neighbor before you threaten him, and, not being angry, give place to the Torah of El Elyon. The fear of Yahuwah is the first step to be accepted of him. And wisdom obtains his love. The knowledge of the commandments of Yahuwah is the doctrine of life. And they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. The fear of Yahuwah is all wisdom. And in all wisdom is the performance of the Torah and the knowledge of his omnipotency. If a servant say to his master, I will not do as it pleases you, though afterward he do it, he angers him that nourishes him. The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, neither at any time the counsel of sinners prudence. There is a wickedness, and the same an abomination, and there is a fool wanting in wisdom. He that has small understanding and fears Elohim is better than one that has much wisdom and transgresses the Torah of El Elyon. There is an exquisite subtlety, and the same is just, and there is one that turns aside to make judgment appear, and there is a wise man that justifies in judgment. There is a wicked man that hangs down his head sadly, but inwardly he is full of deceit. Casting down his countenance, and making as if he heard not. Where he is not known, he will do you a mischief before you be aware. 
and if for want of power he be hindered from sinning. Yet, when he finds opportunity, he will do evil. A man may be known by his look, and one that has understanding by his countenance, when you meet him. A man's attire and excessive laughter and gait show what he is.